this movie was a big part of my childhood. Um, these parents, um, one of them can't have kids. They don't say which one. Like, if the wife's infernal or the man is. But, yeah, they can't have kids. So they start imagining what their kid would be like. And they write a bunch of stuff in a box. And they, um, they bury it for whatever reason. They don't just, like, put it on, um, a bookshelf or something. It's It's got to be buried in the ground. Which I guess it's kind of sentimental since their, um, idea of having a kid is dead. But I don't really know if that's what they were going for. Um, the kid comes out of the ground and they have a kid now with like leaves on his legs. And, you know, her friend Reggie tries to cut the leaves off. They do not come off. Yet they start falling off. Like metal was um, not um, strong enough to... Take these leaves off, but I guess nature was. Um, there's one thing, though. There are no kisses. There's no, like, exactly romantic, though he does say he likes her. Um, the actor that plays his potential crush in the movie um, is three years older than him. You know, three years older is not a big deal. If you're in your 20s, you know, 20 and 23, that's not bad at all. Um, when you're a kid, um, a 12 year old and a 15 year old is not okay. That's very fucking weird. Other person's close to finishing high school and then the other one's not even in high school. They don't kiss or anything. They just hug and they honestly don't even have that many scenes together nor lines together. She doesn't even speak until her third scene. Because the first scene, she's just riding on a bike and riding past. And the second scene, she's underwater. And she doesn't even say anything after she gets kicked in the head in that scene. Which, um, she definitely seems like a bit of an asshole in this scene. Um, I'm not 100% sure if this is what she was doing. But it looks like she's trying to kiss him. And then she immediately tries to take his socks off. To see what he's hiding under there, I guess. She ends up, you know, wanting to be his friend. Because she's different, too. She has a um, birthmark. Okay. This movie's already silly enough. Why couldn't she have had something similar like he does? No, she just has a birthmark. And apparently she has to hide it. Why? Like, she doesn't say she's personally ashamed of it. Or she finds herself ugly. Um, you know, having a birthmark does not make you ugly at all, but it's a perfectly normal thing for a kid to be insecure of that, especially with how mean kids are in school. She just says that she has to hide it too. She has to hide a birthmark. Um, okay, that makes total sense. Um, so yeah. But, you know, I guess they had to have some sort of connection instead of just simply being friends. Um, he, he admits to liking her more than a friend, but um, he let her go or whatever, and they think they broke up or something. All the characters in this movie, besides um, a few, are kind of dicks. The boss is a dick, makes snide comments all the time, and even straight up makes rude comments in front of everybody. Um, he takes credit for this other guy's idea after re rejecting it, saying he did it. But of course, he can't explain how he thought of that because he didn't think of that. Um, the father was never there for his son, throws a fucking dodgeball at his head when he isn't paying attention, and tries to leave the game because he... Has better things to do, basically. Even though he chose to go there, he wasn't forced to go there. Um, so yeah. Very weird. And the sister is a dick, too. Um, even more of a dick than the rest of the cast. Um, 
just as in the movie, not as a person as far as I know. She constantly brags about her kids, which is fine. You can brag about your kids. It's not like she's um, doing it on purpose and shoving it in her face. It's just something she's doing. She's proud of her kids. Who wouldn't be? You know, I could see why it would get annoying, but I don't see why it would make her feel bad. Besides the fact that, you know, she couldn't have kids. Um, But now she does have one. But there is one comment very early on in the movie, two actually, where she makes fun of how Timothy dresses and says that she should have helped buy him clothes and pick them out. And then the second one seems very ableist. She doesn't say a slur or anything, but she talks about how she could help him whether he's normal or not. And it just seems very backhanded. She seems like such a bitch. But, um, you know, the family keeps her around, even after she pulls a stunt where she tries to embarrass them. You know, very, very nice. And Timothy gives her, um, a leaf and calls her Aunt Brenda, even though they really had no interactions and at all in the movie. Then there's this guy called Bub or something. I remember him being... A very sad death in my childhood. But, um, it really isn't. He has one scene, talks about he made the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and he's clearly joking. Timothy says he's um, proud of his work, and leaves. And that is literally it for the scene. The next time we see him, it's only like ten minutes later, he's dying in the hospital. <laughs> and then he dies. But they do give you like a sweet moment at the end of the movie where Timothy gives him a leaf too. Because he gives a leaf to everybody he cares about. And he even gives one to the crappy dad. There was one scene that really did hit home for me, but it's really brushed over. Um, the mom and dad get into a fight because um, um, they had said earlier in the movie when they were making the list of what the things they wanted their kid to be. Was that they wanted him to win a soccer game. But they didn't specify that they wanted his team to win. Um, he ends up... He wins a soccer game. But he kicks it into the wrong goal. So they have this big argument. You know. <laughs> so that that definitely hit hard. It was hard to watch. With um how my parents were. All they did was argue all the time. And now I'm out of that environment. But, you know, they very quickly go over that, which was kind of dumb. I don't know why they even put it in the movie then. And then at the end of the movie, they adopt a little girl. And that's literally it. it it's a fine movie, but I don't know, definitely not as good as I remember, nor as sad as I remember. And, you know, just seeing how old that girl is compared to him in this movie was um weird i remember when i was a kid i just thought she was taller but she's definitely older they also say he's 10 years old in the movie um they don't say what her age is though so she'd probably be about 13 in the movie wise but in real life she was like 15 and he was 12 13 and 10 is still kind of a weird age too but definitely not as weird as 15 and 12, even though they are both the same, a three-year difference. 13 and 10 are definitely closer maturity-wise. 12 and 15 are not. Um, uh, fucking weird-ass movie. Um, it was fine, but definitely weird. I, I didn't even remember the dad. Like, he does have a bit of a recognizable face. But I don't think I've ever seen him in a movie besides this that I know of. And for some reason, I thought it was going to be Owen Wilson as the dad. But it was not. And that's it. <laughs>